welcome back. Um, this episode we're going to get into more electrical. Um, I thought about cutting out a lot of the uh, all the mishaps and the areas where it didn't work. Uh, for this one I decided to leave it all in. You guys can laugh and maybe commiserate. Maybe you guys had similar experiences. Um, but I did everything from you know forgetting to plug in the power supply, uh, relays, uh, did forgot the uh, fuses, got wires mixed up, misread wires, mislabeled wires. Um, so anyways, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy watching some of the, some of the train wreck, but I um, hope you like it. Okay, so I got the uh, connectors. Um, so essentially this would be like the tail light harness and I'll pu push that to the loom all the way up to the connector and kind of tape it all so it looks nice. But essentially that goes there and then I'll put in the other side so essentially from the fuse relay box so the power and ground um, so I can just plug and unplug and just, that's an update. Okay so we're gonna go ahead and try the first full circuit. So what that means is um, in the past, um, I tested kind of the switches and I tested then kind of the outputs like brake lights or whatever. Um, so now I've got uh, connectors and I put them all together and I'm running relays and fuses and everything. So this time it's hands off. Um, I give this one about a 25% chance of working. But the first we're going to try is the headlight. So, Assistant Jack, if you'll switch it to the headlights. Oh my gosh, it works! All right, so we have the second circuit wired up. This is the brights. So first, I'll have Jack do the headlights again. So can you do that one? Oh, hold on. I didn't plug it in. So go back, go to off. So now I plugged it in. So go ahead, try again. Okay, so go off and then pull back. Okay, so pull back again. And did you switch it off? Okay, so do you pull it all the way back again? All the way back? There it goes. Now off. Good. All right. Okay, so I've been having some problems um, sometimes with components coming uh, where they're not working. So I'm going to go ahead and test. Uh, I was just testing the circuits. Now I'm going to see, make sure all the lights that I bought are working. So here's um, headlights. And so they're both working. And then we'll go, I hope this doesn't blow the fuse, but this will be bright. So, it looks like they're all good. All doing pretty good. Okay, so we're going from easy circuits to harder circuits. So this one's going to be the park, um, park lights. So, um, he'll turn that on and then we'll look to see if the front ones go on. We also have these back ones. So again, the hope is that um, these ones go that dull red, not like brake lights, but just the dull red. And then up here, um, those two have some amber lights in them for park lights. So, okay, Jack, go ahead, go to the first one. Anything? No. All right, we'll try again. Okay, this is attempt two. The first time I didn't have the switch wired. So I had all the outputs wired, but I didn't have the switch wired. So hopefully this time it works. Um, so go ahead, Jack. Uh, it sounds like maybe the front ones are going. I heard something. No, nothing. Okay, off. 
All right, so hopefully third time's the charm. Um, I had the fuse in the wrong location. So, okay, go ahead, Jack. Still no. Let's see if anything's in the front. Nope. Okay, trying again. Um, the fuse was in the wrong location again. So we're gonna try it and hopefully things will light up. So go ahead. Yay, finally. So we got here, these are like license plate lights. These are the tail lights. Um, let's see if we've got ones in the front. Yes, those ones too. Okay, so we're getting ready to test the horn. We don't have the steering wheel hooked up, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, complete the circuit and see if it honks really loud. So go ahead. Now it is time for the brake lights. So go ahead, Jack. Nothing, shoot. Okay, um, can you turn the knob one? The small dot? I just wanna make sure these are going. Okay, so we need to figure that out. Okay, doing test number two. I think we were just missing a ground wire. So go ahead. Still nothing? All right, do the twist it over there again. Make sure we got power. Okay. Okay, so somebody might find this funny, but I've labeled my wires. And what happened the last time is I I was going for circuit number six, so I had the relay and everything plugged into number six. And I got the what I thought was the output from number six, but um, you can see that one of them is actually number nine. So the reason why I wasn't working is I was using uh, number nine when I should have been using number six. Okay, so uh, to rewire, it was easier just to make that one circuit nine instead of circuit six. So here we go for circuit nine. Go ahead. And we're still not good. Okay, so I think I've got it figured out. We just need somebody to push the brake pedal. Yep. Yay, magic touch. Okay, I'm gonna try the reverse lights. I do not have the Tesla controller yet, so that's gonna supply the input signal. So I'm just going to do that by touching the wire here, but hopefully the circle will work. And it doesn't. Alright, so it helps if you actually put the relay in. Okay, going to try again. Let's reverse lights, take two. Yay. Alright, so I wanted to show you real quick uh, with the third brake light. Um, I bought a little um, little guy here, what does it say? Blinker Flasher. Um, so I'll give a link to the description in the uh, video here. But I just want to show you what, uh, what it does. So um, essentially when I step on the brakes, um, it, it'll give a couple flashes um, like that and then go solid. More fun uh, products. Again, I'll include a link to the description. Um, but this is to uh, kind of assist with the tail lights and the blinkers. So I've got my regular tail lights that light up in circles and blinkers that flash. Uh, but on some of the other cars, like more modern cars, like some of the Audis and things, you kind of see some of these features. So when you have the when you apply the brakes, that'll come on. And again, I can contour this to the brake openings. And then um, when I turn on the turn signals, it's got the sequential lights. Go like that. This time I'm trying the wipers. So this is a fairly complex circuit, at least for me. Um, so I'm gonna try the, the low. And it's got a park feature, so it kind of comes, you know, if you turn off the wipers, they come back to rest in, in the same place. So anyway, I think the degree of difficulty on this one's very high, so I'd be very surprised if this works, but we'll give it a try. Okay, so 
Nope. Alright, so here goes. Still nothing. Okay, so I plugged it in and we're in the off position. But the uh, motor's going, so got to figure out what I got backwards. See if I turn it. Nope. All right, so I unplugged the park feature for the windshield wipers. Let's see if this at least. So now when it's uh, plugged in, it's off. The windshield wiper is not going. And let's see if it goes now. So now it goes. But when I turn it off, it'll just stop wherever it's at. So I need to figure out the park feature. Let me also see if the intermittent function goes. I don't know what the time I've got set on it is right now. Let's give it a couple seconds, but then see if that's not working either. Okay, so still working on the park, the windshield wiper park feature, but I've got um, the low going. So if I do that, um, so I put some red tape um, right there. Uh, so that's the low going on the windshield wiper. And then if I do the intermediate or intermittent, so you can see it starts. And it stops and it starts. So I can adjust um, the time that it's on and the time that it's off. Um, so really the last thing I need to do is kind of figure out the uh, park feature. Okay, so I did some research. I got it wired, probably closer to correct. I still don't know if this will work, but we'll go ahead and try. So go ahead and go to that first one. Nothing. Go to the second one. Nothing. Back to int. I think we've got things wired right. I got the relays plugged in. Um, so we're gonna have him flip the switch. And there's our there's our motor. So go ahead. Did you do it? Two lines. Nothing. Um, I think I've got it wired right. I've got the relays plugged in and I've got it turned on. So here, here is our, here's our wiper motor. So go ahead. Yay, so see it's going. Okay, now so that's the high speed. Go to the medium one. That's interesting. Is that int? Huh. Okay, so here's kind of what we got done. So brakes, um, that circuit's tested. We do need that one LED replaced. Um, turn signals, I checked both the uh, front and rear so the, all the bulbs work. Um, I need to kind of get it all hands free so you can just do it from stock column. And right now my relay slash fuse box is full so I gotta wire another one before I can get those. But headlights are done, brights are done. I need to tie in the uh, dash indicator for the brights. Horn's done but I guess I need I'll put up there. I need uh, essentially the steering wheel. Reverse lights are good, except for I need the signal from the Tesla controller. Park lights are good. Windshield wipers still give me fit, so we'll work on that. Um, the hazards, I gotta tie those into the turn signals. Um, just an auxiliary port. I'm also gonna run a lot of different wires, like for radio um, and speakers and uh, windows and door locks and things like that, but. I won't be able to do those yet because of the cars at the state it's at, but um, 
that's kind of an update. So we got a lot done and uh, that does it for this episode. Um, we'll keep going and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and share. Thanks.